All right, it is March 15th, and our big news of the day is that... They turned on our furnace today! Let's fly! Yay! Let's fly! Let's fly! We uh, I've got the uh, gas guys lined up the well Sask Energy lined up here. They're going to be putting the meter on pretty soon. So I aired up, I pressure pressured up all those gas lines to 30 psi, and it wasn't holding pressure. I'm like what the heck? I don't have any leaks inside here. So I got this leak finder, leak detector stuff. And where my leak was, was this collar right here in behind the valve. I don't know if I took this handle off to thread this uh, valve on here. So I don't know if when I took that off, I backed, the, backed that off a little bit too. But that's what was giving me my grief. And I was worried about that because I didn't want to have to pull a whole bunch of two inch pipe apart to thread something back together. But, uh, Oh, it worked out. It's holding pressure now. I think it was, I think it was actually 31 PSI when I checked last time. We'll go back down there and look again. So in here, drywall is totally done. That was a huge job, massive job. We started on subfloors now. It's not really for strength. It's going to add strength but it's not really for that. It's that we have two different types of flooring. We've got tile in the back and in the bathrooms. And we've got this uh, LVP, I think it's called Luxury Vinyl Planks or something. It's the new, uh, new version of laminate basically. We're putting that out here. So putting the subfloor on, it's gonna be 3 8 over there and half inch in here. And then our transitions will be just flat. You won't have a little lip. So it just does a little bit nicer job. Plus we glue and screw this down. It's gonna, you know, obviously it's gonna strengthen the floor, be a little bit more of a sound buffer for downstairs and all that stuff. We've got the fireplace in. This vent goes up through the roof there. I don't have it uh, vented right outside yet, but it will eventually. I should also show you here, me and these conduits. I've got a couple of conduits in there. One goes downstairs. 
and the other pokes out here for it'll end up inside this cabinet just to make life easier pulling speaker wires or HDMI cables whatever uh, yeah nothing really fancy over here we've got our stairs a little bit further along and I know uh, in the comments some guys were concerned about how we built the stairs or uh, uh, with the plywood here so everything is going to be screwed in attached to this wall and the same thing going down that way and actually in the garage we've got it a little bit further along i kind of agreed with you guys after i read that and uh we did something about it so we the way we built this wall There you go. And the stairs screw in from the, the back side there and the stairs will not fall apart that way. The other side screwed to the wall, so. Yeah, so I'm gonna keep going on the subfloor here and keep plugging away. Carter are over at the house today. Taper's been working lots. Got this place almost ready to sand. I think we'll be painting by the weekend. It's coming along. Yeah, he made my ugly drywall look pretty good. <laughs> yeah, getting there though. It's cold again today. It's kind of nice actually when, when, uh, this time of year it's always a nightmare for construction because when the frost is coming out the top like everything is just mud right so the top foot is just absolute soup and everything underneath it is hard so you end up making these giant ruts brought the water heater over the other day with the tractor because i couldn't get a truck in here i'll show you the mess i made and you can see those big deep ruts there but that is what happens so you can only get back out here when it's frozen with a vehicle so carter and i brought over the sinks today we picked up our, our sinks from lowe's the other day and we're gonna the taper asked me to uh, fix some of my uh, mistakes on my plugs for him so a little stuff where i missed on the router i need to tape for him so little things like this here. So I'll stick a tape on there for him and then it'll be quicker when he comes to coat. But we're getting there. So Carter's gonna help me do some taping today. Hey buddy. He is in La La Land. <laughs> All right, it's Sunday, April 4th, I think. Really nice out today. I think it's gonna be nice and warm. Not much wind. But look at the water running here. I've never actually seen it run like this. Crazy. But that's right where we want to put our dugout. So be nice fresh water in there every year. Should be good. Snow's almost gone though. Another week or so and that'll be it. So Stan's almost done. he's gonna finish today he's just got some sanding left to do and then we'll start priming and painting this week It'd be good yeah it looks good yeah it's good <laughs> I would have made a mess uh, yesterday was kind of an exciting day I didn't film any of it I probably should have but We've got our pressure system all up and running. Oh, something leaking here. How come we got wet down there? We've got water coming from somewhere. But this is a 
like a constant pressure system. So usually there's that, that, that big tank. It's usually about, I don't know, five times that size. But this little controller here um, reads the pressure in the pipe and just cycles the pump on and off accordingly to keep the pressure up. And I gotta figure out what's leaking here. I got something. Look at that. Let's see what I can find here. It looks to me like it's leaking right here. So this portion here, the, the guys who put the pump in for me, they plumbed this all, and I didn't really like how they did it. They had this tank pointing straight out this way. So it stuck out to about here. So you can imagine the first guy to walk past it, you'd knock that thing right off, and then you'd have a geyser shooting into your house. So I kind of changed this around a little bit, and I added a valve up here. I didn't really like how that was done either. But this stuff here, it looks like they didn't have it tightened correctly. So I'm going to have to loosen off these hose clamps and wrench on these, see if I can get another couple of turns on that. Oh well, part of the party.
You know what that means. It's painting day. Whoa, there's grandma painting the walls. Hey, I have, don't even say it. Don't put it yeah, don't say it. What you doing, Mumsy? I hate sanding. <laughs> Cut in, ready to roll. Did you hear me? <laughs> no. Nope. My son has an obstacle course for me to Oh, there. well, yeah. It's always a party around here, Grandma. <laughs> Good to hear. <laughs> We've been painting since yesterday. Here's what I look like with the floor. The fireplace isn't going to get painted because it'll have stone on it. So we've got kind of the main area done and we're going to start working on the bedrooms next. Oh, not this year. 